Jamaica is my favorite country. Very I saw a waterfall. socialite from Kenya. She's there right yeah, now. Very, very <laughs> <city. laughs> But yes. I don't know, Kenyan industry is kind of different because when she goes there, it's like a big deal. But some of us, we stay there yeah, even for yeah, yeah. over six months. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's normal, you yeah. know what I mean? Yes. We don't have a tray here. So I decided to bring it here. Maybe some... Sure. Guys, I can't believe that people don't know the reason why the Junior was in a, a very sus state. <laughs> he was frozen and I was like, of course if you've been watching me for a while, you know the reason why. Because this is not the first time. <laughs> even this time is not even severe. If you've been watching me for a while, of course you remember the first time. In November and then I just talked to him a few days. <laughs> the second time. Stay here. So I decided to bring it here. Uh, this is the third time and this time around it was not even worse because the previous two we were like someone called Dima or someone called Marwa <laughs> let them look for Demi Junior because it's crazy what is going on what's happening to him what's happening so that one we'll be talking about because I'm like why people are out here wondering like what is the reason what is happening because he doesn't get along with Marwa and I'm like you people don't know <laughs> but of course if you've been watching for a while this channel you know you know exactly why because he came out here himself to tell us the tingle maybe some sure <laughs> so apart from that we'll be talking about Dimwango because i cannot believe that he just picked a fight with a kenyan socialite a i saw a waterfall. socialite from kenya she's there right yeah, now very, very sweet. <laughs> But yes. I don't know, Kenyan industry is kind of different because when she goes there, it's like a big deal. Did, he, did she just pick a fight with the Kenyan socialites? Hey, Dimwango. <laughs> the Jamaican queen, stop it honestly because uh, that is a fight you don't want to be picking. The last part I'll be apologizing. It's a confession. I feel like hiding my face. I'm out here to make a public apology. Hey, I need to make a public apology. Hey, so are you ready for this video because I'm super super ready let's start welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us thank you so much I really appreciate your presence if this is your first time watching or you've been watching but you have not subscribed kindly do so over here like the video turn the notification bell on of course so that you can be notified every time i upload a video and most importantly share your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you think negative positive it can be anything just share your thoughts in the comment section and of course we'll interact as you always do for my people for my people for my people thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and that makes the apology that I will be making on this channel for the first time because hey, you guys, you're not the kind of people that I want to offend or to, to make you feel some way, you know? So I'll be making a public apology, not even a public one, <laughs> an apology for my people. So when, when I talk about my people, I mean everyone that has subscribed, you share your thoughts in the comment section, you like the video, you criticize me in a positive way, you criticize me. You are just part of this channel. You are my people. Which term can I use honestly? Let me know. Neons? <laughs> Let me know the term. But at the moment, I do refer <laughs> to you guys as my people. Because you are literally my people. You are because the love that you show me, you deserve that apology. And I think it's even coming late. So, let's get to the video because what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Let, let us start with uh, Dim Wango because this is what she said. What's your favorite number one? The one you still... To me, I yeah. think it's the best, best. Yeah. Jamaica is my favorite country. Among all of them. Why? Even like more than... Just <laughs> two major reasons. <laughs> two major reasons. The vibe. I okay. mean, the people, the yeah. energy. I don't know, but there's just something. When you go to Jamaica, even how they speak to people yeah. is different. So and don't you, don't you feel like it's like Africa? Because also... Completely. You go to the market. Downtown, yeah, yeah. it's like you're in Gikomba. <laughs> yeah. When I'm there, it's like you're home. All the foods that we have here, they yeah. have the food there. Okay? The people look like you. Like, it's so yeah. easy to go, you know, to, to be there. And just with ease, nobody can tell you're a tourist unless you speak sometimes they can recognize. Another thing that yeah. I love a lot 
is the nature. I mean, they have beautiful beaches beautiful and water. Rivers have ever, no, yeah. rivers. Yeah, even specific. rivers. Yeah. Clean, even one. Yeah, is yeah, this yeah. real or what? Because is the water comes from the mountains, the blue mountains. Yeah, very clean water. Yeah. Very I saw a waterfalls. socialite from Kenya. She's there right yeah, now. Very <laughs> <city. laughs> But yes. I don't know, Kenyan industry is kind of different because when she goes there, it's like a big deal. But some of us, we stay there yeah, even for yeah, yeah. six months. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's normal, you yeah. know what I mean? And something now that actually shocked me when I went to Jamaica, yeah. it's really expensive. Okay. Maybe. You didn't feel that? Like if you compare Jamaica with life back here in Africa, it's yeah. completely different. But you've been to Bar Barbados or Bahamas? Yeah, I went to Barbados. No, ba ba Bahamas, not it, but I passed in Bahamas. Bahamas could be the most expensive island in no, those zones. No, I think Tax and Caicos is also number oh, one. Oh, yeah, that one I should be very expensive. I went to Tax and Caicos, I went to Cayman Islands as yeah. well. Oh, my God. Yeah, those ones could be very expensive. Extremely expensive. They don't... They actually... They target tourism. Probably. Yeah, actually... That is what Dimango said. You know these people, these Kenyans, hmm? that socialite, these influencers, these influencers from Kenya, these YouTubers, when they go to Jamaica, they make it a very big deal. While I've been there for more than six months. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you watch someone and you're like, you must be dumb. You're not smart, honestly, because there are some things. You might be feeling them, but you're supposed to be smart. You don't come out here and tell people that. Oh, they make it a big deal. Yes, they have to make it a big deal because it's their first time. It can be their dream destination. It can be so many things. Hey, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment section because sometimes when you watch someone, I'm not an exemption because sometimes I go back to the videos. Sometimes you watch and you're like, why did I say that or why did I do that? Not even on a YouTube space, out there in your normal life. Sometimes you're like, that was dumb and that is one of them. Why come out here and tell people that? Because that is bragging. That is bragging in a very stupid way. Because if you want to tell people that you've, you're well-traveled, hmm, you have a passport and people don't have, there are smarter ways that you can do that. But for Dimwango to come out here, oh, those people make it a big deal. Dimwango, you're the same person who came out here and made it a very big deal. And you still do. And you've been there for a while. You've gone there, yes, you've been there, but you still make it a big deal. Why does it make you as why does it make you feel a certain kind of way when someone else comes out here to celebrate their wins? Hey, <laughs> but then I could not believe when I watched that part because sometimes you watch Dimo and watch it, some parts, just the way I said, even ourselves, sometimes you do something and you're like, What? That is one of them. Dimango should stop bragging honestly because it makes you look uh, in Kenya we say mshamba. In English, what is it in English? <laughs> it makes one look so so primitive. Yeah, that is the term. It makes you look so primitive because there are some people, I think Dimwango is not aware that there could be some people watching a subscribers of a YouTube channel who have been to Jamaica, but you'll never hear them say a word. There are people who are well-traveled, like well, well-traveled. But they are just cool, you know. So when someone like Dimwango comes out here, they make it a big deal. When, you know, like me, I've been there like six months. That was just so dumb. I was, <laughs> the second embarrassment, I was even embarrassed for her, honestly, because, let me know what you think about that. Because I think, uh, because I think uh, there are some people out here that you, that they brag, they do all these things, but I think this was just so low, so low. Because there are people who live in Jamaica, <laughs> Jamaicans themselves. But I understand it means different things to different people because we'll be talking about that regarding to the Virginia. Because I don't understand why are people out here claiming that uh, it was uh, in that mode, a statue, because of um, not getting along with the... Marwa or uh, with uh, Rocio because the stare down between these two, Rocio and the Virginia, <laughs> it was intense. But personally, I don't think that it's not even like I don't think. Hmm. Should I use allegedly? <laughs> he came out here. That is what I think is the case. You know, he came out here. He was very clear about that. But before we get to that, uh, let me show you the three different scenarios. 
and that is when we can you can agree with me because I think these are facts. At least the reason is not that uh, because he doesn't get along with Marwa. That is not the reason. It is that one I can say for sure. It's not the reason because if you watched that video, because of course I'll not be playing the entire video. If you watched it, Marwa told him to to introduce himself, and he was. Okay, introducing himself, but uh, this thing that is causing David Jr. to behave this way, I should take back my words because initially when we were talking about it, I was like, I don't judge someone, but I think I judge someone <laughs> who uses this thing because if you'll stand like that, David Jr. was not even moving an inch. The, the position, you'd think that uh, he was a D. Mwango's bodyguard because he was a statue, frozen. <laughs> so let's watch the, in the first instance, at least that was captured and made it to this channel. Let's watch it, then we'll come back. See Night Life? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But also Day Life. Ever yeah, I, I, do I do all kind of uh, vloggings. Yes. And sometimes I do Night Life streaming. Yeah. Yeah. And your, your audience, uh, they do convert it to a, a sizable uh, revenue from YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Most of my audience is uh, at least international. Yeah, that's very yeah. important because yeah. uh, Tanzanian, East African. Yeah, East African, uh, the CPM is a little bit down. Yes. Yeah, East African, Asia. Yes. Yeah. So you have to get like America, Europe. Uh, here it's big in like Philippines, it's big in Latin America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just keep following us there, you'll see. Because yeah, after so let me, let me actually are, go your... I already sent you a message on WhatsApp. Oh, with the channel, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let me just get to it now and subscribe. Uh, One Drop Entertainment. So, you know, next time when you do this, send the actual link. Every link save some... Oh, let me send you just... Send no, 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 I can search, I can search, no problem. I, I, I'm very... Yeah, that was in Tanzania. If you want to go and check it out, it's on uh, One Drop Entertainment. And I think at this point, I have to we have to apologize to One Drop because we came out here. One Drop is not a good friend. Why did he have to share it? But we have his own brother, Marwa, taking a video and making it public. So, an apology, my personal apology. <laughs> I think I'll even extend <laughs> your apology to One Drop Entertainment. We really apologize because if the biological brother can do this, of course, you are not at fault. You are, that is what I'll say honestly, because if your family cannot defend you, you cannot expect anyone to do honestly. If they cannot protect you, you cannot expect anyone to do so. So that was the first instance. Let's watch the second instance. Indeed, guys, she's my wife. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. What so, do you think? So you decided to do this. Yeah, I wanted to make you breakfast in bed, mm -hmm. but I was like, we don't have a tray here. So I decided to bring it here. Okay. You want to fall? <laughs> Guys. Yeah, that was in uh, Mombasa, no, the coastal parts of Kenya. I think it was in Lamu. You can see very, very, it resembles, you know the latest or the previous one very related and a few days after that this is what he said like subscribe share and comment yes jamaica oh, 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 oh. <laughs> guys let me tell you mm -hmm. the love for jamaica mm -hmm. something else guys. it shows visit that country i feel like uh i do love jamaica more than my country kenya oh Honestly, mm -hmm. why Jamaica to the world? Why Jamaica? Why Jamaica? People from Jamaica they show us extreme love compared like to where we are coming from. Yeah, and uh, Jamaica it's one that country that it's very popular around the world, and it has always been my dream country. You know, I love the reggae music, the Rastafarian, maybe some. Sure. <laughs> Just say you love it because it has legalized some things. <laughs> no, no, no. I feel uh, like Ganja mm -hmm. is illegal. Yeah. It's illegal in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just love the vibe. I can't wait, honestly, to be in Jamaica. Yeah. Now you know where I'm heading. You know exactly where I'm heading. 
That is my conclusion. That is my assumption. <laughs> that is my point of view. That is my opinion, honestly. What do you think? Because David Jr. is one real person. He doesn't fake. At least, at least that is what I see. He doesn't fake. And if you want to understand this, there was a video I shared. I, I think this would be the third time if I share. Let me not even share the video. If you want to check it out, you will find it in uh, one of these videos. Because uh, there was an instance. Someone fell on the road fighting for their life. And David Jr. did not give an F about it. He didn't care. And took a video, posted it, made it a thumbnail. Some people were claiming that uh, that person did not make it. So sorry about that, but of course we are not so sure. That is the way the Virginia is. He can never fake. If he came out here with a camera, I'll never have love for my brother Marwa because of this and this and this. Because of this and this and this. Do you think anyone, <laughs> do you think anyone could force the Virginia to go to Marwa's place? Absolutely not. Because there is even uh, the intro that he did. He was like, this is the Virginia, very much okay. That is not the reason, according to me. I think it's, uh, you know, the legal stuff is the reason. That is my opinion, my allegation. <laughs> it's not the truth. What did you make about it? Do you think it's the, <laughs> it's the legal stuff or uh, do you think it's because he, he doesn't get along with Marwa? Let me know in the comment section. So let's talk about that video because... <laughs> Marwa is a biological, is the brother to David Jr. Why share this part? Why share this part to the world? Why? Guys, can you imagine this is someone so close to you? You can clearly see because you can see the stare down that was going on between him and uh, Rocio. They were not getting along. Not getting along. Not even getting along. I think, uh, I think Rocio was like, what is happening with this one? So, just watching your brother in that state, don't you think Marwa was so wrong? Very wrong. Whether you're fighting with him, whether it's because of the legal stuff, I'm using the term legal, because it's not legal in Kenya. Don't try. <laughs> don't try. Hey, hey, hey. Don't try. So, could it be because of that reason? It can be for that reason, but of course, Marwa was so wrong to share it in his YouTube channel. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Honestly, I feel like uh, that was so wrong. But uh, I think uh, with Marwa, anything is okay. Absolutely. Anything. Just do your thing, you know. Make your views. But of course, he would have not appreciated if someone else would have taken a video of him in a vulnerable situation or whichever the situation that will not look good, you know, on camera or in a public space. He would have not appreciated someone to post him in something like this situation. Of course not. So, that is why I'm out here to apologize to. Not my apology. That one will uh, we'll cover it, the last one, which we are almost there because it will be a very short video. So, that is why we have to apologize to One Drop Entertainment because that was so wrong. Absolutely wrong because you're the brother, you know, you're supposed to protect him because he might be feeling okay with this, happy about this, but of course, Marwa should have let that be private. So, the last part, but of course he cannot because content, content, <laughs> he has to make his video one hour, <laughs> one hour long. So, anything, anything to make it to the one hour because of course you would agree with me. <laughs> Marwa's content is so off, very off. You wake up, these are the chickens, these are the, this is the pool, this is the, <laughs> to an extent that he will go to YouTuber's home. Make a house reveal about it just to make content. I don't understand, I really don't understand anyone that would watch Marwa religiously because hey, the content can be so tiring. And that is why, if this is your first time watching or you're just watching and you've not subscribed, can you do so? Because it's so hard watching these people. The likes of uh, David Jr., he will wake up. This is uh, <laughs> the latest common term is the border between Kenya and Tanzania. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is David Junior. I come from this village, the border between Kenya and Tanzania. The border. <laughs> yeah, this is my home. This is my village. This is for five, 14 minutes, honestly. Hmm. That is the reason why I'm claiming that um, 
Marwa would have not let that be, you know. Keep it private because it's not pleasant to the people who follow you. People would be like, why would I follow someone? Hmm? Why would I follow someone who enjoys themselves with no limits? Hmm? You come to your office in that state. That is what I think is the reason, is the cause for this. So, guys, let me know what you think about that part. Because personally, I don't believe. I don't believe it's because David Jr. doesn't get along with Marwa. That is not the reason. The reason is because David Jr. was happy. If you know what I mean. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't know, just forget about it. So, let's move to the last part. It's a confession. It's a confession. I feel like hiding my face. I'm out here to make a public apology to my people and anyone who comes out here occasionally to this place to watch my content. I'm out here to make a public apology. So guys, this is the situation. Yesterday, I posted a video twice. No twice. The day before yesterday. I think it was around 12. Yeah. I made a video, but uh, I shared some receipts on D. Mwango's video. You know that woman that uh, was not fully covered. So that lady, of course, you know, if you watched the video, you know what I mean. The lady was, uh, someone told me in the comment section that uh, it, she's a street performer. So I was talking about this because uh, D. Mwango shared this lady. Of course, you know D. Mwango. Anyone that is uh, hype, hype, hype. She will take a video and uh, she will not even pay you something small. So that is the reason why I was talking about it. But um, a lot of things, you know, but um, <laughs> a lot of things were visible. Apparently it's against, you know what? So that is why, that is why I had uh, to re-upload it. And this is why I have to make a public apology. Because you guys, <laughs> the love. Because you guys came to the comment section and you were like, Neo, this is the second time you are uploading a video. I'm very sure I've watched this video twice. But this is the second time I'm watching this video. So, I really, I'm really sorry about that. But of course, it will not happen. <laughs> it will not happen because it's not nice. Of course, I want you guys to come to the channel and watch something new. And that is why I'm apologizing. It's not a big deal. It was just something small. But it is so big for me because... It's an alert. You know, sometimes you have to learn something practically. So that is why you can see that video. Some of you had watched it and you were like, Neo, is this the second video? So especially those of you who let me know whether in the premiere or uh, in the comment section, thank you. Those are my people, my real little people. Of course, because if you see the comments, you know, this is my person. You know, these are my people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, that was it for today, guys. A very short video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're caught up in what is going on. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, we'll interact as you always do. For my people, for my people, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> guys, I got to know you guys. Like, what, guys? Thank you. I really, I really, really appreciate. So, that was it for today. That was it for now. Until the next one. Bye.